So it's been a long time, but I felt like I was finally ready to head out of my flat where I've been hiding for the last million years, maybe, and go to a bookstore. We're really lucky in Edinburgh to have so many bookstores really, really close to us and just that are so wonderful. I have three sort of favourites that have my whole heart. Um, I have the Portobello bookstore, uh, which is very very new very beautiful but is unfortunately just a little bit hard for me to get to right now um, and I've liked house books which is a very famous Edinburgh bookstore but it's also just a little bit a little bit further out of the way for me and then I also have the store that you see in this vlog toppings which was perfect today because it's really easy for me to get to and it's also the biggest of the three by far so I felt like it was gonna be really easy to socially distance and yeah I was really excited to go even though I was pretty anxious, it was also really exciting to be walking through Edinburgh again to kind of just see the beautiful city and to kind of be back in my home. It felt so, just so good. Uh, I have to be honest, I did really want to stop at this plant store and go inside, but it looked pretty tiny and crowded, even though they had this cool little display. Um, but also I was too scared to go inside because I knew that if I did, absolutely get this gorgeous dangly traily ivy <laughs> baby thing um but it would have been i knew i couldn't carry that around with me so i had to walk away really fast i said a small problem where i really wanted to go to toppings and i think toppings really wanted me to be there and it's just there were a lot of cars on the road that did not want that to happen so to do some very creative jaywalking, which is fine because that is the national sport of Scotland. And I got there and it was amazing. So Toppings is a small chain of independent bookstores. The one here in Edinburgh opened about a year ago, which was really, really exciting because as you can see, it is just the most gorgeous store ever. It makes me feel like I felt when I was a little kid and I was allowed to go to the bookstore, it's just so magic. It's like a bookstore out of a story or a fairy tale. The staff are really, really, really lovely. They actually bring you free tea and coffee while you're browsing, if that's something that you would like. They also have the amazing, cool, slidey ladder things like in Beauty and the Beast. I don't really know if there's a proper name for them. Um, which are really really fun even if they do sort of scare me a tiny bit so the downstairs and toppings is kind of pretty pretty normal looking but upstairs is a where the books I get really excited about live and also I think kind of cooler because it's kind of like a maze up there the rooms are all still really big but some of them are connected and some of them aren't connected and I swear some of them move. Some of them have doors where you didn't expect there to be doors and sometimes you think there's going to be a door and there's a wall. Definitely a wall. They have a lot of really beautiful books that I would really love to buy someday even though I know just looking at them that that will never be a sensible ideal for me. But most importantly they have a really gorgeous fantasy section and a pretty big YA section and those are the things I really care about. It was really cool to just kind of, I did walk around a lot and just see some old friends on the shelves, which was just, it was so nice just to be there. The one thing I will say about toppings is partly because it's kind of a maze and partly because it's still really new and also partly because I'm not unconvinced that it isn't some kind of magical dimension with its own quirks and personalities and traits. It can be pretty hard to find what you're looking for, especially with those tall shelves. And they don't always have some things that I kind of expect them to have. So for example, I was really looking forward to buying a copy of Gods of Jade and Shadow by Sylvia Moreno Garcia, or an N.K. Jemisin book that wasn't the fifth season. And I couldn't find either of those things. But to be fair, if I'd asked, they would have absolutely either found them for me or ordered them in I just kind of didn't really want to bother anyone or get too close to anyone so in the end I walked away with three books which I think was pretty controlled of me I bought Mexican Gothic which is kind of obviously everyone's talking about 
<laughs> and then I bought two books which I really ought to have read already I bought uh, An Ember in the Ashes which I really have been meaning to read for so long I'll be honest I don't love this cover and that's what's been putting me off but I'm really excited to read it now and I bought A Darker Shade of Magic which again I should have read a million years ago especially because V.E. Schwab lives here in Edinburgh sometimes and I just feel really embarrassed uh, but I'm really excited to read them now we're not going to talk about them too much right now because like I said at the beginning of the video I'm hoping to order some books from the Portobello bookstore and from Lighthouse bookstore and so I'll talk about them all in one kind of little indie bookstore haul video but I am super excited and I kind of don't know why I'm still talking to you when I could be reading so I'm gonna be off now. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, if you could hit like and subscribe, that would be really, really cool. Uh, or even leave a comment and we can chat and be pals. I'll see you soon. Take care of yourself. Bye.